Honda knot, lasso or sliding loop? Hello everybody, welcome back and today's little knot that I've learned is the Honda knot. It's the knot that is used for lassos or a sliding loop and as you can see here on my actual cordage here I've got a loop at that point there just reaching round for my pointer so I've got a loop there that is a fixed loop and then I have another loop here passing through that fixed loop there which is totally adjustable so as you can see it is a very useful knot to make up a lasso or a sliding loop but the other thing that I understand as well is because this loop is also adjustable by actually moving this particular overhand knot further up or further down to make this hole bigger or smaller I understand that this is also a very useful knot for using on the end of a longbow. Right now a lass a rope or a knot in a rope does not make a lasso. So for those I know some of you work on ranches and things like that if you use a rope for a lasso can you tell me what the actual rope is made of? I know it's made of rope right but what I'm asking is it a very hard lay rope because to be honest if I were to swing this loop around my head because it's not a very hard lay as such it would flop about so please do tell me about that and if you use this particular knot on a longbow or something like that tell me about that as well in the comments below so anyway let me undo this and let's get knotting and I'll see you on the other side right so there is my working end and I'm going to take a little bit of rope I need a little bit of rope for this one to start the knot off and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie an overhand knot so I'm taking my working end bringing it round over the top of my standing end there like so so it's going round over the top of my standing end and then bring it out underneath like so so we tie one in number overhand knot okay simple wasn't it and what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same again on the actual end here so what we're doing is we've got our overhand knot here which is going to be part of the loop and then in this piece here we're going to tie another overhand knot but pull it tight so that we end up with a stopper knot that's what we're after here it does I don't think it necessarily means that we have to have an overhand knot as a stopper knot if you want something a little bit more decorative tie something a bit more decorative in it but all I'm going to do now is just go over like so and then as you can see I formed a loop here like so and then I'm going to just bring that working end up through that loop that I've created there and pull it tight so as you can see just a simple overhand knot and then pull that up nice and tight and then once I've pulled that up tight the next thing that I want to do is I want to bring this round and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it round and I'm going to go underneath this one here and over that one there. So just go round, put it underneath, bring it over so it comes over everything and so we then end up with that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just gently pull up tight on the two other ends and you can see now here that we have a loop has appeared in the end of our rope so we've now in a sense created the Honda knot so that now is a fixed loop on the end of our rope but if say for example we want to adjust it we can actually move this knot up or down to increase or decrease the size of that loop so if you're a cowboy and you use this for a lasso please tell me what size that's going to be in the middle in the, in the comments below and then once we've created our loop there like so the next thing we do is we take our standing end and we pass our so there's my standing end now the other end of the rope we pass it through there pull the rope through like so and then you can see here now what we've done is we have in a, in a sense created our lasso and then as I pull up tight on that that will that is strong enough to bring down a steer see cowboy terms I'm learning and it's really really secure so there we have it that is the Honda knot very quick very simple very easy very secure please do tell me more about it once again thanks very much for watching if you enjoyed it if you hated it 
but please do leave me a comment down below and tell me your experience. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.